In this video, I'm going to present the SpecFem 3D plugin of the Streaming Stat project. SpecFem 3D, it's a earthquake simulator that is used for benchmarking. So what I want to show is how we benchmark first in live and then offline SpecFem 3D. So let me first show how the, the live view of the collector is working. So on my laptop, I launch the collector. I go on its web page. And I will launch two containers, one on my laptop here. And I launch a local agent. So this one is on the laptop. And um, on the desktop, same, same kind of container with uh, access to SpecFem. I launch the agent. Both of these agent connect to the um, performance collector. So from the um, control interface, we can launch a SpecFem be benchmark. We'll configure a small problem for it to go fast and we'll run it on the laptop. And we clear all the recording and we launch it. So on the laptop, SpecFem was configured. Now it's being compiled and it will run uh, for a few seconds. While it's running, I can show the configuration of the control center. So here with this YAML file, we say that for the execution of SpecFem benchmark, we'll have three options. The number of OpenMP threads, which will be an integer between one and eight. Uh, then we have the problem size. So there are some constraints on the value. So I say that it's an enumeration with three possibilities. And last, we define the machine on which we want to, to execute the benchmark. So here, the simulation completed. We can go back to the screen. And here we see uh, the recording of the, the benchmark during SpecFem execution. Uh, if we look at the time loop, we see how, how long each of the loops took. Um, we also uh, save the seismograms that are generated just to highlight how to plot a custom value inside the, the tool. And in the feedback messages, we recorded that the execution time was 20 seconds. And also we recorded from inside SpecFem some uh, configuration bits just for information. So now let me show uh, yeah, the um, the data view. So this second YAML file is the configuration of the different tabs of the live view. So first tab will be for the laptop system, showing the, the CPU of a SpecFem process, then the CPU of the system, the RAM of the system, and different information that we record about SpecFem execution. Let me also quickly show inside SpecFem how the, um, the instrumentation part looks like. So SpecFem, the core is Fortran. That's why you see the, the call syntax. But doesn't matter much, we do everything in the C part. So at the beginning of SpecFem, we launch the agent interface 
and we define a first checkpoint that would be the start the starting point of the execution so that we have the exact time of this event then in the time loop before the execution of the time loop we share different properties for for, for the configuration to be recorded along with the, the trace and inside the trace I put some uh, some checkpoints more or less randomly uh, as I don't know this code in detail should have another one so stages and the other one is here after the seismograms have been written the other thing I wanted to show is the C part. So in C, we have Fortran binding for this very specific use case, but usually the recording of checkpoint or seismograms or config happen with the, the recorder interface, which is easier to use than Fortran at least. Back on the control center, we can configure a problem more complex that will take longer to solve. So let's put 64 next, give six threads, and we launch it. So it's being compiled, and now it's running. So if we go on the progress tab, we see the progress of the, of the time loop in percent. So here, one percent, two percent, and in this tab, we see how long each of the iteration took. So if we look at the seismogram just to see something else, yeah, the seismogram is very fast in this condition and the stage loop is uh, the one taking most of the time. Another mode of execution of the streaming stat project is the matrix benchmarking. So if I go in the last configuration file, benchmark, here I can configure the experiment that I want to run. So here I say that with the current experiment, I will run SpecFem 3D on the laptop and the desktop with different value of the next parameter and between one and eight threads. I can run the benchmark in a dry mode. So in this dry mode, 84 experiments have been scheduled for execution. So this 84 is the combination of two machines, three problem sizes, eight different threads and out of this 48 experiment 32 were already recorded so if i run it without the dry mode then all of all the 16 experiments will actually be executed so the driver and the settings will be configured the graph and feedbacks will be cleared and the performance collector will wait for the end of the execution by waiting for the execution time feedback message. But instead of running this uh, experiment, we'll rather have a look at the result themselves. So I launch the viewer mode of the tool and I go to the matrix page. So in, in the current state, we have one experiment, one driver, 
two machines, two next values and eight threads parameters. So let's have a look at the overall time. And I want to sort it. Currently it's sorted by machines. I want it to sort it by next. So here, on this part of the graph, for the setting next equals 16, we see that the, the desktop with one thread took 12 seconds to run, and with five threads it took three seconds, and the laptop was significantly slower. And for a problem more complex, it took 15 seconds for the de desktop, 74 for the laptop. We can also look at the CPU consumption of SpecFem process. And as expected, uh, when we look at the overall CPU consumption, there is more, C uh, more CPU consumption for more threads. And if we click for instance, here, on this result for the machine, uh, for the desktop machine, then below we have the graph of the recording of the CPU consumption. So let's rather take this one, which should be longer, so with many more points. And we can also look at the raw values that were recorded by clicking here. So we see recorded the external parameters, number of thread, next. So that was running on the laptop. We see the same information as in the live. Uh, we see them recorded and uh, shown in this uh, view. And we have the different seismograms visible. And this execution took 45 seconds. Thanks for watching. And um, if you want further information about the project, uh, the plugins, and how to uh, adapt it to your environment, feel free to get in touch. Thank you. Bye bye.